How delicious does that look? You are looking at the amazing truffle mac and cheese from Hearth and Hill. Jordan Harvey, the executive chef, is here. Jordan, so good to have you in studio. Yeah, thank you for having us. So, I love it. Okay, I went to a uh, preview menu for their summer tasting menu, and oh my gosh, I was so impressed. And bonus, you guys had the mac and cheese on the menu that night. I was like, you got to come in on the show. So, here we are. Excellent. Yeah, thank you for having us. Of course. Well, um, let's talk first things first about Hearth and Hill. You're up in Park City, Kimball yep. Junction. Yep. Uh, so, we are... Uh, we've been open uh, about two and a half years. Okay. Um, yeah, and we're going to show some pictures as well of the beautiful restaurant right there. Uh, but two and a half years you've been open. Yeah, and uh, style of food is uh, modern American comfort food. Kay. I think you can get noodles and a hot chicken, whether it's Korean or a Nashville hot chicken. You can get those things anywhere now. Yeah. So I think... Uh, what modern American uh, comfort food is leans a little bit more on those Asian cultures. I don't think fusion stands out so much okay. um, as it used to. So. And I, I really learned that from your your tasting menu when we did this. That you know the owner he's been in he's lived in so many different places that between the two of you you guys have really brought all these different tastes to the menu, which I was super super impressed with. So you're seeing their beautiful restaurant there, indoor outdoor. Uh, obviously the patio is great for the summer. So let's get to the truffle mac and cheese because they're they're giving out their recipe people and it's an easy one, which I like. All so. Right. We got uh, the bacon going. So we start with uh, getting the bacon nice okay. and crisp, uh, and then we'll add our cream. I think one of the keys to a good mac and cheese is always just full fat cream. I That's don't why think it's so good. You get uh, you don't get the same creamy texture when you use uh, a thickened milk or some okay. sort of thickener. Okay. I think just keeping it simple with the cheese and the cream and letting those ingredients come got together it. harmoniously okay. is the best way to do that. Okay. So we'll put the cream, bacon, and the mm -hmm. pasta all together, and we'll reduce that down. Okay. Um, Love and it. let that kind of thicken, and we just finish with the cheese right at the end. And roughly um, speaking, how much would this, I mean, how many would it be? I, would I, say, I guess it depends on how much they eat. <laughs> That's probably yeah. the question. But when you guys cook it up, I mean, this is good for what, four people maybe? I would say uh, three adults comfortably. Okay, okay. Three adults, so and we're going to be putting this recipe on our website, fox13.com. You click on the place right there, and then you can get the recipe. Um, as far as other tips for mac and cheese, what do you think? Should I be stirring this for you? Uh, I'll absolutely. pretend I'm your sous chef. Um, I think you want to add the cheese at the end because you don't want the cheese to scorch to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Uh, like I mentioned, the full fat uh, cream. Mm -hmm. And then the cheese you use is just as important as the full fat cream. You want to have a, a cheese that melts and is nice and creamy. Okay. Um, something like a cheddar that's a bit more crumbly and hard uh, doesn't give you that nice creamy sauce. Okay. So we use a Gruyere, which is a, a Swiss style cheese that's mm -hmm. aged for five months um, and just kind of hits that sweet spot where it melts nice, has a nice earthy and nutty taste to it mm -hmm. and helps it just come down to a nice thick sauce. And I think that's what I liked about yours so much is it did kind of have that nuttiness, but then you get the truffle, you get, I mean, just everything, the cheesiness, all of it. So, so, so good. So what we're going to do we're going to be, you know, going through the show. We're going to do some other stuff, and then we're going to come back. We're going to plate this up and show you the finished product. But if they do want to come up and visit you, give them your address or where you're located in Redstone. Um, yes, we are right next to Best Buy in the Kimball Junction area of Park City, so you don't have to go all the way into town. Which and is we can nice. avoid that traffic and yeah. all of that as well. So it's, it's nice and accessible from the highway. Uh, yeah, and... And they're they're great up there. So they've got a they've got something for everybody. So if you've got kids, whatever, somebody's gonna find something on the menu that you love. Cinnamon roll, it's giant. You might want to try that for brunch. Okay, Jordan. All right, Chris, what's coming up? Bye.